Thanks to Ivanki for sponsoring this video. I am in love with Apple's new MacBook lineup, but um, if you look a little this way, you'll notice a big problem. It's lacking ports, and even the higher end MacBook Pros, as great as they are, still don't have enough ports for most pros. If you want a setup like this to get some serious work done, you're gonna need more ports and lots of them. And if you're looking for the best way to supercharge your MacBook Air or MacBook Pro setup, add some much needed ports to your Apple Silicon Mac laptop, well, I have got the perfect solution for you. I've been testing the Fusion Dock Max One from Ivanki, and it has been the perfect solution for my setup and just checks all of the boxes. It's got a super sleek and compact design. It's super powerful with dual Thunderbolt 4 chips built in. And also it has got lots and lots of ports, all the ports you need to supercharge your setup and get some serious work done. But enough talky talk, let me show you how this works. Hi. Welcome to my home office. I've shown this room off in other videos in the past, but to give you a peek behind the scenes, this is where I spend way too much time during my day working to get videos done. Just one little problem is that I don't have enough ports. Like many MacBook Pro owners, I love the flexibility and versatility this device affords me, but when I wanna get work done, I wanna sort of work at a bigger workspace. I want my speakers, I want my monitors, I want a good audio setup, I want different peripherals to do better editing and be more efficient. I wanna connect all of this and more to my laptop, but um, there's just not enough ports on here to connect all of this stuff which is where this comes in. This is the Fusion Dock Max One, and it's got all the ports I need to turn this setup from a, well, dire mess into a real workable space to get some work done. The Fusion Dock Max One is packed with 20 ports for all of your connectivity needs. On the front, you've got dual high-speed USB-A ports, you've got dual USB-C ports, you've got dual 10 gigabit per second USB-C ports with one having power delivery of 20 watts to supercharge your iPhone or any wired Apple device if you wanna give it a quick charge. You've got a UHS-2 SD card reader, micro SD card reader, and that still nifty headphone jack. Even though Apple likes to say it's dead, People still use it all the time, like every day. And while that alone is super useful, that's just the IO on the front. If we turn this around to the back, this is where things get super exciting. You've got a SPDIF optical audio out port. You've got a USB-A port capable of 10 gigabits per second. You've got dual HDMI ports here for 4K video uh, output. You've also got dual USB-C ports capable of 6K output. You've got your dual uh, upstream ports going to your Apple laptop, a security lock port and power port. Then on the bottom to round things out, you've got a couple more USB-A 10 gigabit per second ports and an ethernet jack, which is capable of two and a half gigabits, especially Especially now in a lot of professional settings, as we're getting beyond just one gigabit per second with our internet, we're getting even higher than that. This can support it. And also nice is um, this port's capability and versatility. If you've got some faster, uh, maybe network drives, for example, you want to access that's uh, going to be better beyond like the one gigabit cap that most other solutions are gonna give you. Okay, all of this is undoubtedly really impressive for a spec sheet. It's great, it's super exciting, but I wanna show you how this actually works. So let me jump back to my home office for a moment, show you how I've maneuvered things around and plugged everything in, and um, how this is powering my entire productivity setup at home. So everything here you see on this desk is connected to the Fusion Dock Max one. I love how it sits right here, not taking up too much space. I also love that it's sort of sitting uh, not flat on the table, it's sort of uh, there's a way for air to move under there and keep that airflow and keep this thing cool, which is very nice to see. So that's sitting there and I've got like everything connected to it. So I've got my dual uh, Apple Studio displays connected via USB-C. I've got my speakers. These are iLoud studio monitors that run through a DAC, which you can see, but that's also connected to the back of this thing to obviously give me uh, audio here on the desk. I've got the receiver for my Logitech MX Master or whatever mouse that's also there. I have got my Elgato Stream Deck that I use for uh, shortcuts while I edit. 
I've got two drives connected, well, more than that, but the first two here is one is this little sled for uh, SSDs. You use this all the time uh, for transferring footage uh, from my camera. That just plugs in right into the front there so I can remove it when I don't need it. And also I've got, as of right now, temporarily, a Samsung T7 or whatever it is, uh, external SSD. I have a lot of drives that have to go in and out. So having that easily plugged into the front there is nice. I also use the SD card reader all the time. I love the speeds that it gives me. So that is uh, being used right now as well. And I've still got some uh, ports to spare on the front and back. I've got a USB-A port. I've got um, that USB-C port capable of 20 watts of power delivery. I've got a headphone jack if I need it. And all of that is right there. And I've also got a 10 gigabit network adapter through Thunderbolt that travels with a cable from over here all the way back here. And I'm gonna embarrass myself to show you that it goes into a switch back there, which goes into a Synology, <clears throat> which got, has uh, some more drives than a big other NAS thing with a lot of storage on it. And all of that is connected into one box on my desk, which is right here. And what's so cool about this is not only, again, the compact size, all of that, plus some ports to spare, uh, powering this, but it's connected just with that sort of special uh, dual Thunderbolt cable into my MacBook Pro. So basically disconnecting one cable or basically you know two uh, ports from that cable lets me take my MacBook Pro out and take it with me when I need it. And then I can literally come back, plug it in uh, and about five seconds and then all of this stuff is connected and good to go. I love the flexibility this gives me. And to go back to my initial checklist for just a moment here, this is checking all those boxes. When it comes to ports, you have got the best collection you can ask for. And it's not just versatility, but it's also power from these ports as well. So not only do you have full-size HDMI ports, you've got a great mix of high-speed USB-A and USB-C ports, that fast uh, full-size card reader, micro SD card reader, but these ports are also powerful as well, pushing a lot of power for both data and power. I mentioned before that front USB-C port is capable of 20 watts of power delivery. So if you want to easily plug in your iPhone and get it charged up and good to go, or even if you're rocking the Mac, Android life, whatever device you want to plug in, 20 watts of power delivery is fantastic. But on the back, those ports that connect to your Apple laptop are going to deliver up to 96 watts of power delivery to your Apple laptop to quickly and easily get it recharged. So not only are you getting all the added benefits of having all those devices and ports at your disposal, but also you're really easily and quickly recharging your laptop too and making sure that when you do want to disconnect and go mobile it's charged up and ready to go but also keep in mind it's not just power for power delivery like recharging batteries but also the power of data transfer speeds too you've got dual Thunderbolt 4 chips inside of this thing making all this magic happen which means you can connect multiple high-speed drives if you've got network drives like my uh, Thunderbolt uh, 10 gigabit port if you want to utilize the Ethernet port built in whatever the case may be your connectivity here not just is abundant but it's also very fast if you want to do editing off of multiple drives you want to transfer files quickly, this dock is going to make that magic happen. Also, speaking of power and performance, if you, like me, are a bit of a self-proclaimed monitor junkie, not only is this going to give you an amazing selection of I.O., but this can actually drive a 6K monitor setup. So if you've got four displays and you want to add that to your MacBook Pro setup, this is going to allow you to do that really, really simply. Just plug them in and you're good to go. Then the other point I want to come back to is design here, because not only is this design super sleek, but it's also nice that it's not taking up a bunch of space on your desk. So if you have a smaller workspace, for example, you're not going to have uh, some huge dock taking up a bunch of room, but also it's got an intentional design that not only is saving space, but also again, is going to keep it off of the desk, keep the air moving in there to keep all the components cool and running as efficiently and effectively as possible. Also speaking of design is that this was designed with Apple Silicon Macs in mind. It was designed to perfectly work and be the perfect companion for those Macs. No drivers or extra setup uh, required, uh, but just one note here is that it's not going to work with older Intel Macs or Windows PCs. So as long as you've got an uh, Apple Silicon Mac, uh, you're gonna be good to go. So if you, like me, were looking for the perfect companion for your Apple Silicon laptop to add more ports, add some high-speed connection, have some versatility with the devices you could plug in, and also basically have one cable to connect to your 
laptop and charge it and get all these ports and be good to go, the Fusion Dock Max One is the way to go. It's the most versatile docking solution I've ever used. It's got an abundant array of ports here that are high speed, gonna supercharge your uh, Apple Silicon experience. This is gonna be an amazing solution that I cannot recommend enough. I love this, I know you're gonna love it as well. So if you wanna learn more, check it out for yourself today and really give your Apple Silicon setup a much needed upgrade and really give your MacBook uh, Air or MacBook Pro its new best friend, this is the way to go. If you wanna check it out for yourself today and learn more, hit the link down below to check it out and um, add a Fusion Dock Max One to your setup today. As always, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Hope you learned something new. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle. I'll see you all in the next one.